Shredman. <laughs> Shred, man. That was nice. That sounds a lot like Slayer. There you yeah, Kerry touches, King, man. Oh, God, he's a god. He, yeah. He's a god. He can shred that stuff up, man. I lost my last string, but I bet I could pull that off if I had it. You know what I love to do? I love to get the Dave Matthews CD. Yeah. Whenever he mentions alcohol of any kind, he take a shot. Right on. It's a great drinking game. You know what's another really good one? Huh? It's called uh, Prince of Wales. Prince of Wales, yeah, I've gotten that's so far. I love that oh, one. One second, Yeah, one go for it. <laughs> yes? Oh, hello, Mina. Can you come over here? Francisco's having a really bad time. I think he needs his friend's help. Oh, well, that's a shame. We'll be over in about uh, half an hour. Yes, half an hour. Okay, bye. What happened? Oh, that was Nina. Um, apparently, Francisco has just had a very catastrophic spiritual experience, and he's totally flipped out. Well, you see, this guy's a goth, you know, and he's kind of into this, like, occult stuff. He's really... This is, I'm sorry to interrupt. Does he go to the American school? Uh, no, he goes to a Mexican school, but he lived in Arizona for a while. I think his mom's American, right. like ours, too, so yeah. Yeah, so he's, not, he's, he's like... Similar situation, oh, right but on. yeah, Sorry, he, keep going. So he, he got into this whole gothic scene down here, you know, and I'm really into the occult. I don't know if it's Satanism or he's kind of like a witch. I don't know what it is, but he loves playing with Ouija boards. He's got all these pendants, right on. All these kind of yeah. what, what do they call that? What does he call them? Pendants. That's yeah, what it is. Yeah, he wears yeah. them around his neck. You upside know, upside down to his stars. But I, I don't know. I, I don't really. I don't really buy it. Yeah. I've, I've hung around. I've never so, seen anything. This stuff is so inexplicable. It's crazy. I mean, yeah, tried there's a to reason it's stuff? inexplicable, man, because it's. Not real. You can't explain it because it's not there. No, nah, man. Things happen that pretty I, I, bad. You know, it does damage to your own mind to believe in it. You know, man, like quantum physics. If we can pos if there's a possibility that we can travel th through different dimensions and times, there's a lot of stuff out there that we can't explain. You know what? That's an interesting point. Let's go over. Yeah. I bet they have food there, man. Right on. I'm hungry. Don't worry, Francisco. Everything's gonna be alright. Sometimes things happen because they have to happen. Just let it be, I mean. Let it in the past. Oh, Christ. No, I love gothic music, man. It's, it's great. I, I love the, yeah, the dress, yeah. the culture, but it's this whole witch kind of magical thing that just... It's so tacky, man. You gotta learn how to see past that. It's just... Yeah, I, I know what you mean, man. I know what you mean. Maybe you should be a little bit more open-minded more open about that. Hey, is Anna coming? Oh, that's right. Let me call her. She's rock climbing. Yeah, Let me call her to her cell phone. Right. Hey, Nina. Your house? Okay. Well, it all started the other day. I went down to the old monastery and I was trying to contact spirits and and these terrible vibrations were there. It was, I got really scared. It was, it was like pure evil. Well, we, we did some research and we think it was back in the 16th century. He was, he was a, a monk named Rodrigo Mendoza who teamed up with with other Spanish monks from the Saint Inquisition and Aztecs Indians who, who wanted to basically continue doing human sacrifices and but basically together they'd, they'd murder and sacrifice people and since then I've been having the nightmares about it and I'm just, I, I've been just really scared about this, you know. 
I think the only way to end this is to go all back to the monastery as Francisco's friend. We have to get rid of that bad spirit that is haunting his soul. Well, let's go up there. I mean, uh, can't hurt too much. Let's go up there, try and figure it out, solve it, and get this thing over with. Guys, it's gonna get creepy. A lot can happen. No, no, it's just like a museum or another old kind of place. It's no problem, we'll have a nice outing. Yeah, it'll be fun. Okay. No, I will, I will never go back to that place again. your turn and watch all your precious cities burn looks like we're finally here the place Francisco was talking about it's old yeah it's creepy wait until we are inside I don't know what's that bad come up here Remember these candles we bought right. on the way in? This is the way I see it. We leave one here in this perfect little niche. So if we get lost, we come back and uh, we know that we've already been through here. There we go. Okay, let's go to the other top. Okay, let's go. Here, guys, come. We're looking for a stairway that is with black rock where nearly 400 years ago, Rodrigo Mendoza disappeared. That's where Francisco did the ritual. Here, come. Do you think monks carved that in? No. Shh, shh, I, I feel something. Shh. This is so lame. You shouldn't be so cynical, man. Why not, dude? This, this is nothing. Of, you ever heard of quantum physics, man? If people with such smart minds like that can come up with stuff, then maybe it's true. Guys, you're always making such a big deal. Shh. They have a vending machine down here, do you? I got the munchies, you know what I mean? Why do you always speak with your stomach instead of with your brain? Let's keep moving, guys. Come on. Bitch.
There's a way down, and there's black rock. Yeah, let's go check it out. Okay. Black rock. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go on ahead. Yeah, why don't you guys stay here? We'll be right back. You guys, sh you're sure? Yeah, it's just a quick look around. Don't worry about it. Yeah, be so careful, we, please, guys. No, please. Don't worry. Just don't we'll look move. at them. It's okay. Don't worry. Exactly. Don't move from right here. Come okay? back here, please. We'll meet you right here. Promise. Okay. Sit back here. What is that? Sounds like someone singing in Latin. The reason we're here is because of Francisco, and the other one is because this evil soul, evil spirit, went into the catacombs a long time ago, and our ancestors brought them here, brought him here. So now we are the ones that we have to fight to to find him, to get rid of him. It's our time. It's our turn. We have to do it. Hey. Thanks, Thank God, you're back, guys. We it took you so long! We walked for like that long. Ten minutes, it all looks the same. It's, it's patterns, it's crossroads. Yeah, you couldn't tell. Crossroads and we just went completely backwards. You, can get you were really careful, right? Like, yeah. 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 What did you, you guys see? could what get did really you lost. See? Nothing, it's the same it's thing. Over Stony over. You guys could really get lost in there. I mean, we should stick together for now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Let's... You know, this reminds me a lot of that story by uh, Plato, you know, the men in the cave? What's it about? Well, that these guys living in a cave and their entire perception of reality or the shadows projected onto the wall by the fire that they built behind them. So all they really see are the, these shadows moving back and forth on the cave wall. And one day, one of them, uh, he escapes and he goes out into the real world and he finds, you know, everything. And there's sunlight, trees, flowers, what you'd expect. And uh, he comes back into the caves to tell everyone about what he saw. But when he goes back, not only do they not believe him, but they get upset, they get angry. They don't want to hear about this different world. They don't want their reality to stretch beyond the designated bounds. They can't deal with this new information. And they threaten to kill him. And they refuse to believe him down to the very end. Hey, what is that? I'm gonna go check it out. I heard it too. I know I've said a lot of stuff about you and your beliefs, but I need you right now. Maybe you can help. Get up, please, get up. I need you. Just get up! Oh look, I'm really scared now. Please, Nina, please. Nina, 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 please look at me. Nina! Please. I can't help it. Just, just, just relax, all right? Please, please, please. I need your help. What do I do? Just tell me what to do. You can like feel his presence. Let's go back to where he we lost him. It's like you gotta find him for me. Come on, Nina, you gotta you find exactly. him. Wait, wait, wait. That's the noise I heard when Figgy left. Hey, what the hey, hell are you doing? Nina, hey, what the hell are you doing? Where are you going, Nina? Get back here, Nina. Nina.
at me. Thank you.